Every year, when moose season rolls around, the boys break out the equipment, grab their toys, and head on out and go hunting. And that's what this movie's about. It's about moose hunting. It's about filling the freezer. Come on, Roger. Come on, Roger. The fellas are happy. Knocked us down a nice bull. Right over here. Come up around the corner with the river skiff, already shut her down, and Dave knocked him down. What do you say, Dave? Let's, let's pull the guts out of him first. And that's how we do that, right there. This is a hunt we did recently with some of the guys, Leonard Wheeler, Artie Hansen, Tom Carpenter, and myself. We stayed in this nice cabin here, compliments of a good friend of ours. We just got done looking at some bulls from the air, kind of planned out what we're going to do, how we're going to go in on them. Tom has a bull permit for this area. It's 8.30, the night of September 1st, and uh, I'm gonna go in in the morning with that airboat right there. And we're gonna see if we can get us a nice bull. So this this one that we're going after is a pretty exceptional animal. We'll get going bright and early in the morning. So we'll see you then. We got three monster bulls standing here. There was quite a bit of discussion over which one was the right one for Tom to shoot. The one walking away is definitely not him. Well, which one is him? That's the club horn in the middle. Shoot the club horn. No, don't shoot the club horn. The one, the one that's walking away is not him, I know for sure. One of them's got to be him, though. 
they moved around Tom. On the right. Take him right there. There's your shot. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. That was the biggest one there. That was the biggest, widest one there. With the, with the other one. There's one right there looking at us, and then there was Clubhorn, and then there was him. I see him, but that's definitely not him. See that one right there? No, I know that. That is definitely not him. And it was this one and Clubhorn. This one was the wide one, and then there was Clubhorn. So I'm sure that we this, this is the him. widest one. He's bigger than you think, I think, Mr. Guy. She's down, get her out. Right. Okay. Nice um, rallying, Art. It's pretty wide. Pretty wide. It's going to definitely be in the 70 class. Carrier has landed. He's yes, we got him. Pull down. Big ball down. Well, I'm standing on the bow of number 52, Artie Zerbo. We ran over 300. Yeah, there was three together. You have to watch the video, I guess. Beautiful morning. He's 70 plus. 70, 75, somewhere in there. I can lay up. I, I laid down, put my foot on the end of one side, and I was laying, and I, my head didn't go up all the way across. I was laying on, you know, I just laid in there for But it, he fits all of me, right? It's a dandy. Pretty symmetrical. Cool. It looked really good down at Whiskey Ridge Trading Post. Yeah, we'll put her up on the wall down there and put her in the freezer and barbecue some chops. <laughs>
This next spot where Leonard and I are going hunting is a place we found a few years ago. This is an area where a bull moose has to have at least 50 inch wide antlers or three brow tines on one side or the other in order for it to be legal. Last time we were in there we saw this bull. We weren't sure if he was quite 50 and he only had two brow tines, so we passed him up. Now we're going back to the same place to see if we can find another one like him and maybe he'll be big enough this time. We are the next morning. We landed and tied the plane down here. A pretty nice river valley here we're hunting in. We had a campfire last night and put our tent up right up in there. I'm gonna walk down the river few hundred yards and go up the hill right down there and our moose should be three quarters of a mile to a mile up that way and we'll be checking with the periodic on her head but a set of ears. We stopped here and started to rattle and rake some brush and a moose just came down right up above us here working in that brush. coming hard. She's going to be disappointed when we ain't Louie. There she goes. She was a little bit bummed at us. We weren't her boyfriend. Good bull right there. We can't tell if he's legal or not. Close. How's that for a close up? That moose was right on top of us. Here's another look at it. How's that for a close up? We're down a little ways from where we just encountered that little bull and uh, tried to do some calling here. 
really tough to see through in here. It's thick, thick stuff, but there's this patch that moose that uh, rut in here every year. We found them here a few years ago. This year there's quite a few small bulls, but we haven't seen any real big ones yet. Um, there's a couple that are really marginal 50 inches. Those are the ones we're looking for. That last one was only about 35 or so. So, just gotta move through here real slow and call and scrape some brush. See if one will come down to us. Stopped and started raking and this bull came running right out. Coming at us, Mike. Let's go right over here. Michael here. He might have three brown tines. He's got three. I'm gonna take him. Wait till he comes out and we get a good. He's dead. There he is. <clears throat> nice shot, Michael. Couple grunts, a little bit of rattling. This bull come right in. Well, here the big feller is. Pretty uh, decent bull. 52 inches, we put the tape measure on him. He's got Three brow tines on each side, almost four, except for that one busted off. Uh, I don't know, kind of a medium-sized moose. It's gonna be pretty good eating. We had a, sure had an exciting hunt. Had lots of action, saw lots of critters. And uh, gonna have a little bit of work to do here, but we'll get him out. It's maybe, oh, probably quarter mile, half mile to the edge of the ridge, then it drops down to the bottom. So, and that's where the airplane is, so we'll, uh, it's not too bad actually, all downhill, pretty easy going stuff, so it'll be good. We're pretty excited. Well, the next morning here, got up this morning, pretty nice day. Got one more load to haul off the hill. What do you say there, Michael? Pretty nice morning. Fairly warm out. That's it? That's all you have to say? Pretty fantastic hunt yesterday. We had a good time, lots of action. Pretty cool. Very enjoyable. Got a pretty spectacular morning happening here. Sun breaking through, shining on the mountains. Absolutely gorgeous morning. Go off the hill. What's left? Right there. Got a 
stripped down to nothing but bones. Mike's got the last rack of ribs in there. I got the horns and we're heading off the hill. We are back at the river. Everything's here. The taxi over through this little wash here. Up onto here. Pull her up right over here and we're gonna load her up. He's back taxi and got the whole moose in there. The whole moose and the horns are on the strut. There he goes. Ready to go look at some bone? Some loose bone? Last night that bull was just up in this 
another light on this side of this tree line. We're gonna keep walking in on him slow. It might get real exciting real quick here. We're working our way up slow. They could be anywhere now. So we're just gonna work our way up easy. We came to the meadow and right across, over, straight across from us. There's a, a cow. Probably in the 50, 55 range. 50 inch, 55. Good job. Where'd you hit him, right behind the ear? Look like it, look like you folded him like a duck. Well, she just needs to turn around and smile pretty. On this hunt, Leonard got to take his boy, Travis. It was fun having a youngster along kind of showing him what moose hunting was all about for the first time. Just got in, Mike dropped us off. He went to pick up Sid. Me and Travis just started us a fire. And Travis working on some pop tarts. Little seven o'clock sugar high coming up. Let's go whack and stack. Travis's first official moose hunt with Uncle Mike and Sid and Dad. There you go. And look at that. What a great deal. Oh, I just stuck my knee into his food. <laughs> got anything to say there, Mike? Well, he ain't 50, but he's got three brow tines. One, two, three, that's all it takes. That's it, like a ball. All right, meet in the, meet in the freezer. That's it. Got him right behind the ear. Perfect. <laughs> he folded too big time. <laughs> Pretty exciting, wasn't it, Travis? See that bull come out of the trees like that? Yeah. Nice, nice moose had already shot. We went in there and there's the hindquarters on the stern there. Well, the scoter. Can't see past the moose horns in his eyes, but there's the moose on the bow. Oh, get both in here. That's only half of that. Beautiful 
I guess if you added up the cost for all the equipment that we use, you could probably buy a lot of beef, but moose meat's a lot better to eat than beef, and it's a lot more fun to get, too. Anyway, this next set of clips is some older footage that we had. Back at the landing. Here's Leonard, messing around with his nice ball. We're a uh, long ways from Norway. Yes, we are. But this is where the moose hang out, so this is where you have to go. Last day. Yeah. Now or never. <laughs> See what the expression on his face is. About 200 yards away. That's a big one. That's a big one. What do you got to say, Michael? Wow. I didn't know he was that big. That's a big one. Big. Nice big animal. Gonna be heavy. Shot him from that tree right there. Right in the top of that critter. So can't hold the very steady. A couple hundred yards away. Nice big animal. He's, uh... He's gonna push 70. He's gonna push 70 by the looks of that. Nice shot, baby! Good shot, baby! You bet you did! You got him! Right on! You got him! <laughs> nice shoot! Okay. Here's Donnie getting her picture taken. 
with this big old behemoth bull. Beautiful set of horns. Leonard's snapping off a picture there. Yeah, I got one there. I want to get, maybe we can pull the airboat just a little bit forward. Just like where Mike's standing. Well, I, what I'll do is I'll just run around. It's starting to rain, so I got to turn the camera off. Behind me. 